John Field, Frederick Chopin, Gabrielle Fauré, Dave Brubeck. The relation might not have been obvious until now. For two centuries, Romanticism has inspired them all to write great melodies, to luxuriate in the piano's unique forms, to dream, to wander into worlds of pure sonic sensuality, to allow poetry full bloom. Is it any wonder that this quintessentially romantic genre, Nocturne, is a night piece? There is a mystery, a certain melancholy <coughs> or calm that takes, takes over at dark. Rubeck knows that delicate place between waking and sleeping, where dreamers and babies love to be, and he gently takes them there and softly William softly. There is a sadness in the lost waltz and the desert and the parched land. Can anyone explain why we humans, at least the romantic ones, derive pleasure from feeling sad? Why is the longing in Nostalgia de Mexico and Joshua Redman bittersweet? How can chords alone, like in Kodo song, suggest ambiguity, uncertainty, and weightlessness? This is Brubeck's emotive realm in these nocturnes. The images alone could have come from Keats or Wilk or William Carlos Williams. Quiet moon, misty morning, a meadow lark, a rainbow. If poets sang, these would be their tunes, sweet, tender, and lush. We will now begin the performances of Dave Brubeck's nocturne. 